I've accidentally edited out a command that I used in the last tutorial. So I thought I'd hurry up and put it at the beginning of this one. And that was simply in our game settings script. When we're iterating through our vitals, I make a call to our PC class, which is just the reference to our player character class that's attached to our PC game object. I tell it to get the modifying attributes string, which is what we're currently working on in our modifying attribute class. This function right here. So make sure you go ahead and add this line, or the function's never called. So save that off. Now if we go back to where we left off in the last tutorial, we're testing it, so I'll hit create. And there we go. Now for health, we only have one modifying attribute, which is constitution. For energy, we only have one modifying attribute, which is constitution. And for our mana, we only have one modifying attribute, which is willpower. Just to make sure that we only have the one in there, I'm just going to come up here and add another debug statement. And this one is just going to be mods.count. And I'm also going to add another one. So instead of getting the attribute of our modifying uh, attributes, I'm going to try to get the ratio. Well, I'm not going to try to get the ratio. I am going to get the ratio. <laughs> so we're back up to here. And ratio. So let's try that out. When we hit create, we'll stop it. And we'll take a look. So it's telling us health, which is our first vital, has one modifying attribute, which is constitution, which has a ratio of 0.5. So half our constitution goes towards health. Our next vital is energy, and it's telling us that it has one modifying attribute, and it's constitution, and it's a one-to-one -one scale. So it applies 100% of our constitution to our energy. And the same thing with energy. There's one modifying attribute, it's one willpower, and it's a one-to-one. -one. So let's start generating our string. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to comment it out for now. And that temp string that we built up here, we're going to start concatting these values to it. So temp, we're going to say plus equals. And then we're going to add the name. Then we're going to say temp plus equals. And I want some sort of delimiter, something that's going to go in between the name and the ratio. I'm just going to use a hyphen sign. Actually, I'm going to use an underscore. I don't see a ratio ever being negative, but just in case, we'll just use the underscore. And now temp plus equals. And then we want the ratio. We'll just paste that right in. Just going to move it over. I'm going to comment out both these lines. And we'll have to come back and add more to that. But let's just see how it looks for now. I'm just going to start returning temp. We can fix that. We are going to want a debug statement to see what temp is holding. We can just get rid of this and just say temp. So let's go test. It says that we are using unassigned local variable temp. Let's take a look. So we have to make it equal something to start. We'll just make it empty. That goes away. Start it back up. Hit create. And there we go. So for our health, we have constitution underscore 0 0.05, or 0 0.5, constitution underscore 1, willpower underscore 1. That's exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to delete these. Actually, I'm going to leave that in for now. 
Now we're also going to want to add something to this for when we have more than one modifying attribute. We're going to need some sort of delimiter for that. So what I'm going to do is see if I'm on the last modifying attribute in our list. And if I'm not on the last one, I'm going to add a pipe sign. And if I am on the last one, I won't add a pipe sign. So let's build that if block. If CNT is less than underscore mods dot count minus one. Then we're going to add a pipe sign or bar, however you would like to call it. So let's test that out. Create. There we go. Now if we come over to our game settings, I'm just going to copy this line except now I'm going to be getting the skills. So get skill, get modifying attributes, should be the exact same, except we don't want it in here. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to set it up for skills, but we're not actually going to do the skills yet. So type of, instead of vital name, we'll want skill name. So we can just cut and paste that in. Uh, anywhere else you see the vital name. Okay, so get vital, we'll say get skill. Save that off, see if there's any errors. There's one. Oops, that's because it was running. So let's clear it. There's no errors. So now when we hit create, we get an index out of range. Uh, let's go into mono development. Actually, let's see where that error occurs. Right here. Ah, because we're still calling get vital, and it should be get skill. skill here. Everything looks fine. Let's go try it again. So we'll clear this out. Uh, I still have an error. Skill does not have a dis definition for current value. And that is correct. It does not. So we'll go back, try it again. Error is gone. Hit play. Create. There we go. It seemed to have worked that time. So let's take a look. The first three we know are our vitals. So that's one. That's the first one. There's the second one. There's the third one. So then we start getting into our skills. I don't remember offhand which one was first. But as we can see, it goes through and it says might. Then it adds might. So that's nimbleness after that. We really should move our debug statement out of the loop in our modifying stat. It'll make it a little bit easier to see, to understand what's going on. So here we know exactly what's being returned because we can see it this way. And it will clean that up a bit, so I'm actually just going to redo it. So here we go. The first three vitals, the second one was might and nimbleness. The next one was speed and constitution. And if you notice, it's speed, underscore, then the ratio, then the pipe sign, then another attribute name, underscore, and its ratio. So when we're parsing through this after, we can just look through, find where that pipe is, split the string in half, and then we know we'll have two different sets of attributes and ratios. So we can skip through again, grab the name of the attribute, and also its ratio. So let's set it up so that it actually starts saving the string for us. We'll go back into mono development. 
under game settings I'm just going to copy one of the player preps I'm just going to leave a space there uh, we're going to call it modifying attributes it has to be a string so we can just get rid of all this too I'm just going to call it mods it's late and I'm tired <laughs> and we have to pass in the value which of course is this call here so we'll just paste that in erase all the empty spaces here save it off hopefully no errors but we do have one Ah, if you notice I'm setting an int but I'm passing in a string we don't want that we actually want to set string so now we'll go back to unity all the errors have disappeared we'll run it uh, we'll just jack constitution up a bit and our willpower just to change these I didn't name them but we hit create now let's go back in and look at the file it saved and look for our skills so we have a charisma charisma concentration energy based value there we go here's our magic defense we have the base value experience Where's our modifying? Okay, there we go. Mods. We forgot to actually add the name of the skill or the attribute to the mods, so we're going to have to do that as well. We don't really need to delete it. We'll go back to Mono Development. And we are going to want to append a name here. And we can just grab it from here paste it in make sure we change it to skill name and we're also going to want to cut and paste this up here for our vitals as well so quick look make sure everything's okay uh, we'll want to do that to keep the same format that we have before and since we are changing the name of some of our keys let's use the delete all to get rid of all of our keys that we already have in our plist start it up we're just going to call them ddd okay stop it go take a look at it So let's find energy, base value, current value, experience to level, and I'm not seeing the mods. We have it here. So we have it for our skills, and it's right. But we're not getting it for our vitals. So close that off, go take another look. Because we're using skill name here, we need vital name. Uh, we're getting the vital. Okay, one more try. Make sure you left the delete all on. This guy's name is A. Okay, so we'll go back to the file that it saves, open it up. Energy mods, constitution 1, health, constitution 0 0.5. So there we go. We now have it saving. Considering the time it is at night right now, I'm going to save this off, encode it. Uh, we'll upload it, and then I'm probably going to head to bed, so we'll do more tomorrow night. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you later.